This is the charming little story of Stealth Sword of the Shattered Sun. A level 83 goblin rogue and a lustrous grandmaster archaeologist. She is the shortest member and also the cutest of the Asylum Guild of the Scryer's Realm, which is currently filled with a bunch of level 85 characters, and the players are desperately waiting for the next expansion pack so they can increase the characters to, let's say, level 90. Delsort got up this morning and immediately said a prayer to the parted soul of Karen Bloodhoof. Bloodhoof be praised! She then tripped over a great and idol, ah! and then took the name of the Lord in vain. She then mounted her celestial steed and flew to Orgrimmar City, where she proceeded to dishonor her parents. She went to her neighbor's store in the Valley of Spirits section of the city, and after briefly coveting her neighbor's husband, she then slept with them. After her neighbor's wife caught them in bed together, uh, let's just say she was trying on the new skin-tight leather armor, think of it that's just as kinky. She then vehemently denied doing anything of that sort. She then threw down a smoke ball and beat feet out of her neighbor's house, and flew outside of the gates of Orgrimmar and raided the Alliance stronghold at Chirigard Keep in southern Duratar. She snuck up behind her enemy and after briefly knocking him out, she then proceeded to steal the contents of his wallet. She then killed her enemy and in the ultimate act of betrayal, she looted his dead body. And of course, she did this all on Friday afternoon at sundown. Or for you uneducated and willfully ignorant bigots who don't even know the basic precepts of your own religion, Sunday. This video is going to have a different point than the Alliance version, starring Poison Sword. Earlier today, a character named Scott, spelled thusly, spammed the trade channel at Ironforge advertising his particular guild the word of Todd. Usually when bigots want to form religious groups on WoW, you find the normal requirements such as no rogues, no shadow priests, no warlocks, and so forth. But this one went a step further in that they added a requirement of the player being the proper race. No minorities were allowed as verified on Facebook. Uh, where do I start with this? Well, first of all, this type of activity is in clear violation of Blizzard's end-use license agreement that every player essentially agrees with before they play the game. That is, racism, discrimination, and religious bigotry are never acceptable. Second, players like this don't last very long when hundreds of players on WoW swiftly and simultaneously inundate Blizzard admins with complaints about another player. And third, these players have proven that they can't handle criticism about their activities. As I stated in my Donkey Proctology video, there is nothing wrong with expressing one's deeply held religious conviction. As Thomas Jefferson wrote in 1777, all men shall be free to profess and by argument to maintain their opinions in matters of religion. Make no mistake about it, religious comments are protected by the First Amendment. However, this does not mean that people are going to agree with you, nor does it mean that you will be protected from ridicule when you make ridiculous claims. I call this donkey proctology, the act of making outlandish claims without the benefit of evidentiary support. You are simply pulling things out of your ass. And if you are going to resort to donkey proctology as the basis of your claims, you have no business getting mad at others when they point at you and laugh. Lord, I shall give these laws unto thy people. Hear me! Oh, hear me! All pay heed! The Lord, the Lord Jehovah, has given unto you these fifteen... Ten, ten commandments for all to obey! <laughs> 